Voila, this is where we are. You are in South Africa. There is just a vibe. Music and dance. I'm a piano where you went. Am I lying? Am I lying? Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Timakele, your gifted girl with contagious energies. Now, you guys already know I am Congolese based in South Africa. And in today's video, I'll just be sharing with you guys some fascinating South Africa's rich cultural heritage. South Africa is a country with a unique and fascinating cultural heritage. And today I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that I know. And please, South African people, don't bash me. I am just sharing my opinion, see? But leave a comment in the comment section below if there are some things that i forgot or if there are other videos that you would like to see but before we get into this video if you are new to this channel please do consider subscribing below turning on notification bell so that you are notified every time we post a video i'm sure you're probably rolling your eyes and asking yourself why would i want to subscribe to this channel well because on this channel we talk everything intercultural relationships marriage blending families and a whole lot more if you're interested in that type of content please do consider subscribing below turning on notification bell so that you're notified every time we post a video let's talk about south african people now in south africa we have all different type of ethnic groups which have their own cultures and their own customs now let's look at the zulu people zulu people are well known for their vibrant traditional clothing and their music am i lying am i lying oh yeah and also people are known for their beadwork amazing beadwork and circumcision ceremonies south africa has 11 official languages just showing the diversity of the people that live in it and let me see if i am diverse okay let's see how many languages i know guys please don't come after me okay so there's 11 right english of course there's english afrikaans Sitwana, zulu osa debele Tonga, Swati, I'm not sure. Okay, Swati, I think Swati is a language. Then I say Venda, Venda, Sutu. Okay, I can't remember. But I think I got most of them right though. But I'm going to put them on the screen for those who don't know these official languages who are struggling like me. Let's learn them, okay? But African clothing, oh my God, is just diverse as a people. Let's talk about traditional way. I mean, think about Heritage Day. Like, dude, there is no country in this world that respects traditional way like South African people. Like, okay, beside white people because we all wear their traditional clothing. So... <laughs> white people is not for you but, but yeah i mean like on heritage is the perfect example like even if you go to weddings even if you go to a, a, a traditional wedding in south africa they show out the vibrant colors the beautiful patterns the beadwork oh my god everything is just so amazing the hairstyles i love the hairstyles you know we're keeping it with braids people are still trading their hair bobanian beds you are braiding you're plaiting uh what do you call this thing snow poo what do you call this thing where you don't put braids is that snow poo? back step straight back back up <laughs> music and dance i'm a piano where you went <laughs> The funny thing is let me just put in a short story in in here right so i think who was having a conversation with i think it was my husband and my husband and i were having a conversation because I, obviously we listen to Congolese, well i listen to Congolese music and stuff of that sort and he says to me you know the funny thing about Congolese music you guys do the exact same dance just to a different beat to a different song and i was just like bro do you know how hard it is to just move that waist that you're undermining or the amount of exercise you put legs i mean there's no way you can be a congolese dancer who knows how to dance and you're not in shape have you seen the congolese people right congolese music play 10 minutes and mm, mm, 10 minutes you're just there you're just there and i'm a piano yes obviously the variety that 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 eh, your legs your head everything every part of your body moves when you dance on a piano you're dancing con um, south african music so i understand that but don't undermine Congolese music and think oh you guys are always just whining <gasps> try it i dare i'm gonna put a, a a video here just short video or even the name of a song go and watch the song and try dance like them and then come in the comments after you watch it come in the comment below and tell me how your body felt the next day not even your lower body because we know barely your upper body you will tell all mm, mm, eh, eh. you think you're playing games you 
anyway i digress there a little bit we back on it african food is also a mixed of european flavors and stuff like that but the south african food yo, okay there are south african foods that i really enjoy like ikota like yo guys that could be basic for somebody but i really enjoy ikota like ikota is nice mabele is not for me oh stampa hmm a quick story so i was visiting in bloom right i was young I was matric and i went to go you know do some service in bloom and i stayed there for a while so what i do is i'd sleep somewhere else and then i'd eat at a different house so they'd host me and stuff so this one house in the morning were hosting me so i got there around 11 o'clock so i'd missed breakfast when i walked in they were i don't know what they were cooking but i could just smell meat or america i became hungry now i'm sitting i'm waiting for my food ever so happy i'm like then give me a chunk piece of meat because you all know south africans love their meat okay if there's anything that respects on the plate is that piece of meat so this plate comes stamp white 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 stamp like touched by an angel white stamp but the smell of that stamp which is stamp smelled of meat that I was so pissed. I was so upset. I felt so deceived. That's how great they cook it. Like the spices they put, these norox that they put in the stamper can turn something as plain as white samp into, you are thinking there, yeah, today you're going to dine, you're eating an elephant. Meanwhile, it's just a white stamp. Wait, but what are some what are some traditional what are some traditional South African foods? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like the tradition of traditional food beside Malamhodu. Hey, the other one you're gonna laugh at me. Torch, 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 torch. So that is shredded meat that is turned into porridge type of thing they serve it at funerals and weddings you know but uh i'm trying to think of others i can't really but if i do guys i don't know spatlo mala clojo stampa is beans traditional i'm not sure if beans are traditional what other thing what do they serve at funerals bro ah that's all they serve mm -mm, let's leave it there the africans are also into a lot of art like woodwork beadwork i like it because when i was in durban right i worked at the shop where it's the hillcrest aid center so if you are anywhere in durban and you're looking for a good bead shop where they sell beaded stuff and traditional stuff in south africa you and you are in durban you find yourself in durban you can go to hillcrest i can't remember the address but it's called the hillcrest aid center i worked there and we did some amazing work i'm going to put some of the pictures on the screen so you can see how amazing it was i mean there was this one time when this guy made a wooden angel it was almost my height okay i know i'm not very tall but it was almost my height and it's just so nice because it, it is also taught to the children so it's not just something that i do and that's it and i'm gonna give an example so i come from the drc and sewing is something that we are also really good at like a lot of congolese people are seamstress you know they are sewing and they are fixing shoes or something i don't know if that's something that we are born with or if that's just a talent or is something that is passed on from generation to generation so that's the exact thing that's the exact same thing with south africans right when it comes to beadwork artwork it is very beautiful how even small children know how to do it and they also honor um they honor the importance of traditional attire of you know tr of 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 masigo is that how you say it? guys guys if i butch the butch you butch me in the comments i give you the right to do that okay so that's because rich cultural heritage is shown we can see it it is reflected in every single thing whether it be music food dancing history whatever you i mean come on it doesn't lack they show you kuri wabala this is where we are. You are in South Africa. There is just a vibe, okay? If you do not agree with me, leave a comment in the comment section below. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do share it with people. Um, give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video and taking the time to spend with me. My name is Temachele, your captive girl. And I am your Congolese queen.